Steph.com and today I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite Christmas treats. We call them peanut butter snowballs. The thing I like about these is you don't have to bake them. They can all be made using just a microwave so it doesn't get any easier than this. Plus you can involve your kids, have them roll the dough into balls and they can even help with the dip or the dipping in the white chocolate and the sprinkles. So I'll quickly show you how to make these. Um, first you've got to make your dough ball and it starts with a cup of powdered sugar and then you're going to do a half cup of peanut butter. And this will make about 16 to 18 one inch balls. Um, so you can easily double this if you want more, um, or if you just need a quick little treat, you can cut it in half and stop yourself from overeating during the holidays, I guess. Okay, so get that one half cup of peanut butter in there, and then three tablespoons of melted butter. I already threw it in the microwave and melted it. So it's ready to go. And then you just want to mix this until you kind of get a nice dough, peanut butter dough. Just incorporate that powdered sugar. And, whoa, powdered sugar slime. <laughs> Should be wearing an apron, but oh well. Okay, and you can kind of see the dough starts to come together and gets nice and firm. Perfect for rolling balls. Okay, so from here, you're just gonna roll one inch balls and you wanna stick them on a plate or a pan covered in wax paper and then throw them in the fridge for about 30 minutes. So I already did that. Here's a couple that I have ready to go. By chilling them, they kind of set up. They're still kind of warm after the melted butter. So you wanna make sure that they're chilled and kind of a firm ball. And then you're just going to throw it in the white chocolate and completely cover it. Now, we get questions every once in a while when it comes to dipping. How do you dip and what's the best way to do it? I like to use a fork and kind of roll it around until it's covered. And then you can kind of let the extra drip off so that you don't have a lot of excess white chocolate. So once it's done, just set it gently on your wax paper. Do the other ones. Roll them around, and kids like to do this too because they get to push it around with the fork or whatever you use. Now for my white chocolate, we get a lot of questions about this too. What do you use for dipping? One of my favorites is a Candy Quick, um, I guess, chocolate or er, candy coating. You can get it at most stores. Walmart carries it. You can also get it online at candyquick.com. But when you go to the store, just look for the words candy coating. Um, they have a lot of chocolate candy coatings and then vanilla, white chocolate, whatever you like. So once you get them all covered, um, I wanted to make them sparkly for Christmas. And so I found this, it's a Betty Crocker brand and it's just a silver sugar, it's like sugar crystals. But I thought it was so pretty to go with our snowballs. So I just sprinkle a couple on top of there and they're completely edible. So kids like them too. And you could do Christmas sprinkles like red and green, or you could leave them plain, or you could even drizzle just a cup, a little bit of white chocolate on top. Whatever floats your boat. When you're done, throw them back in the fridge for about 30 minutes, and they'll be completely chilled and hardened and ready to go. So whether you want to eat them or have them for a party or give them away as neighbor gifts, they'll work for any of those. For more Christmas recipes or other fun recipes, be sure to check out our blog, SixSistersStuff.com.